Looking at $22,000. It says it's a good deal on cars.com. Uh, 2006 SLT 2500 Dodge Ram. And it's completely stock. It's clean. Not a whole lot of options to this thing, but overall, um, you know, I think it's a good buy. I do. With 173,000 miles, I'm not, I'm not terrified. Cold, cold morning. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this day started. But that thing right there heats my house in the winter, saves me a ton of money. It's awesome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit the road. Here, you got your present. Thanks. It's, it's ripped. And it's not what I wanted. Mom, got a present. What's up, buddy? Got a present. Yeah, we got a present. Yeah, Josh wanted to match the interior, but I. Want I... You, daddy, daddy, daddy. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. Josh wanted it to match the interior, but I wanted the the purple yeah yeah well you know what it's... i think that you just don't feel manly driving with a purple Daddy. steering wheel well it was only like 10 bucks on ebay we're just trying to fix the ripped steering wheel that's all thank you it's gonna look better than uh better than the ripped steering wheel oh wait that one don't fit either <laughs> that has to fit yeah it's what it said in the description uh -huh. it's gonna fit i'm gonna make it fit yeah the other two didn't fit so well i think they make these things extremely tight Come on, truck master. Oh, shut up. Oh, tell me to shut up. I'm just trying to make sure this fit. <laughs> oh no, Earl! We're gonna figure this out. No, I don't want you. Uh, Earl, can you back away from my truck, please? <laughs> well, I don't want to rip it, considering it's cheap, you know? I guess I don't need the pry bar. <laughs> Look, I already made it dirty. Oh, nice. Look at that. Well, at least it's not ripped. Actually, that looks pretty cool in here. That looks cool. That's class. But knowing my greasy hands being a light, lighter color as it is, um, I'll probably make it dirty. Yeah, see, that's why you should have went with the darker purple. It looks cool, though. Whatever. Anyways, let's hit the road. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. We're just starting the day off. And what we're doing is, first off, I wanna get my wife's opinion on me picking up another diesel truck. And I looked at the uh, $60,000 Dodge Cummins fourth gen out here, and she wasn't too excited about that, by the way. So we'll go ahead and get her take on that. But what we're doing is we're actually heading to another dealership. I'm gonna be looking at another diesel truck. but. Guys, I don't know what the outcome of this video is going to be at the very end. Stay tuned till the end. But I will tell you right now, we're picking up another project truck before the end of the year. And then one more thing to mention, guys, if you already put your entries in and you guys are waiting to hear who the winner is for the Victory Max, I will know by the 17th of December. Well, what do you think about my diesel shopping gear? Well, um, I don't think you're to like my opinion very much, but uh, I think you should finish the Wife Max first. Now, I do agree I should finish her truck, but there should be nothing wrong with picking up another project truck, stashing it in the backyard, and then finally getting to it once we're done with the Wife Max, or I can build both trucks together. You know, once I receive parts for one truck, I work on that one, vice versa, just to provide content on the channel. That's my thinking. That's my logic on this one because I'm just uh, all over the place. In the end, you're gonna do what you want, so that's my take on that. But so we looked at the $60,000 Cummins. What is your take on that? I know you didn't see it in person. Um, it's $60,000 and uh, I'm not all for that life. You will have way more content buying an older truck for less money and building it from there. So I was reading the comments, a lot of you guys said second gen. So I have my eye on this beautiful red quad cab it's an 06 and it's here in Lansing, Michigan. It's at another dealership. The price is pretty decent. We're gonna go ahead and check it out, 
see what the wife thinks too. I feel really bad because I didn't invite her to the last dealership when we looked at a truck, but this time I have her with me. We're not too sure if I'm gonna pull the trigger on anything today. We're still thinking, we're still truck shopping. All right, first time we've taken her on the highway in a while. Ooh, look at that GMC work truck right there. Very nice. Got a generator on the back. Yeah, that's pretty nice though. That's really nice. It is. It's wow. Back. Yep, somebody owns it. Pretty sweet looking though. I think it's a gasser, but it's still pretty cool. Is that it? That's it right there. Yeah. Look at the grandpa topper, man. That's sweet. That thing's huge. What do you think about the grandpa topper? Uh, not my style. First impression. Not my style. Wow, that's nice. We're gonna look at this thing, man. We drove all the way out here. We drove, it took us about 30 minutes to get here, so definitely checking it out. Let's park the Duramax. It's running. I know, someone's checking it out. Uh, no way. They said it was available. It's running right now, so I'm gonna have to ask a salesperson what's going on with this truck, but I'm interested. We're just waiting for a sales guy, but I just looked at the odometer and it says 173,000 miles. Wow. Um, it that's didn't break 200K, it's, yeah. it's a diesel. Yeah. But that's not that's too bad, I mean, but then again, you know, if I'm gonna spend some money, I don't wanna, I want something what's, with 150K. What's the price tag on this again? It's an 0659 and it's a uh, common rail, it's not the 24 valve. They want $22,000 for it. Wow. Which is a lot less than uh, I'm trying to spend here. Not no crazy $60,000. <laughs> Although that truck was pretty sweet, but couldn't do it. It's pretty sweet looking though. I like it. If I bought this truck, I'd get rid of the topper for sure. They're not sure if somebody's already looking at it, but the thing is running. So I'll get an answer for you guys here pretty quickly. But if not, then we're hitting the road. And I'm sad, because I really like this. I love the color. That's a pretty sharp looking truck. Although, it looks like it was painted before. The tone of this hood right here is different from the Spender. That bumper's cool, but I'd probably want to let that one go. Cab. Big old quad cab. Big old truck, I'm that. It's nice. Yeah. I have four kids, so this would be really nice. 173,000 miles on it, which isn't too bad for a Cummins. No. Can I pop the hood? Yeah. Okay. It's open. I got a tons of hose box, which is good. And there's no, nothing been messed with. Shock intake. Sounds really good. Thank you. Is someone looking at it? I think so. Look how, look how easy it is to get the injection pump. That's what I love about these Cummins engines. They're just so easy to work on. Wow. Look at this. This looks like a southern truck. It's so clean. Look at this. Look at the rockers. It's, it's rust free. Yeah? Yeah. No rust. Not sure. Look at that frame. See all the space? I know. Look at this back seat. All this room. Go ahead and get in there. It's a ton of space. My goodness. I know, and you can recline like Alex was saying. That's pretty cool. Wow. This is a step down right here, I'd, I'd say, from uh, the black one we were looking at. But it's a lot of space. So pretty like, nice. I really like the space. Yeah, but this topper has to go. <laughs> I mean, it's cool for keeping things dry. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I couldn't see myself actually uh, yeah. rocking this thing. If you rock a topper, God bless you, but I just, that's not my thing, that's all. <laughs> all right guys, so one thing that I noticed, I said it was rust free by looking at it, but check that out. That fender needs to be replaced. Interesting, huh? How these wheel flares, I'm not going to say that the wheel flare completely did it, but obviously it trapped moisture right there in order for that to rust through. But the rockers still look pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take it on a little test drive. I'm, uh, overall, I'm, I like it. It's, 
It's nice. There's so much space. There's a lot of space in here. Look at, look at all this space. Matthew's back there. Yeah. He's got all that leg room. Look at all that. You know, I've never been a big fan of the way it looks, but I'll take, I'll compromise the looks for the space, in my opinion, this when it comes to stuff like this. I think a grandpa owned this truck. This is so much quieter than my truck. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is night and day. Oh my goodness. I can hear you talking. Hello. <laughs> 22 grand. Just think, we spent 22 grand on that van we bought, Melanie. Yeah, but that was for convenience. It's for the family, yeah. It's the fan wagon. The fam wagon. You know, I'm not a big fan of the color of this interior. I know I talked about the Chevy and the Dodge interiors. One thing I like about this interior right here is, you know, of course you have the jump seat here in the center so you can fit another person right here in the middle. But not only that, um, you have all this extra room right here. So it's sort of a center console slash jump seat. Although it wouldn't be a lot of fun for somebody sitting right here because it'd be hard for them to put their feet anywhere. How's it, how's it driving so far? It's very smooth. It's very smooth. All right, let's, uh, let's give her a little pull here. That's all she's got. And they don't have a lot of pickup to them. <laughs> but then again, it's a stock truck, so. Yeah. But what a torque monster though. I'll give them that. Go to Steak and Shake. Such like, oh gosh, that's such a good idea. This state's, if you guys live in Michigan, you guys know the struggle. Mm -hmm. Sucks to live in Michigan. The dictatorship going on. Anyways, so this is the 06 Dodge Cummins and it has 325 horsepower and 610 foot pounds of torque, I believe. I'm sorry, on an auto trans, it's 650 foot pounds of torque. So it is a little bit of a downgrade from an LBZ Duramax. I like the space and comfort. This is comfortable and I can, Spread, sprawl my legs out here and so what do you think should we get it i don't really care for the look of the outside Me either i'm telling you she's I... so right look guys i it's i'm I, it's, i'm having a hard time with trying to express my feelings of this dodge truck yeah. but it, i'm not a big fan of the the well, body the style fan, yeah. i'm just it's it looks like a big bubble with wheels on it i no offense guys i'm sorry um i'm more into I'm more into the motor. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> I'm more into the motor. You know, of but course, yeah. it's got that awesome rear end on it. Um, it's got beefy suspension. It's just, it's an overall great Holy. platform. That's that's my thing too. It's the I'm just so used to how and nice the, the Chevy are. looks. Yeah. And then when you go to this different body style, it's just hard to. I don't know. I know what you mean. It, it is. It is. And it's hard to switch over the dark side too. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. What am I thinking? But it's comfortable, comfortable and roomy, and uh, I mean easier to work on. Like you said, the engine easier would to be work easier on. Easier to work on, and more, I mean, more room for perks, activities. I think there's perks to every brand. And if you guys are calling me out because I'm being a traitor to a Duramax, you're crazy. I don't know how I'd be a traitor considering the fact that I'm not getting rid of my diesel trucks. Right. I'm not getting rid of the Duramax trucks. They're my favorite. I love them. We're just exploring other projects. Other know? projects for yeah. the channel. That's what this is all about. Good content for people too, you know? It's very good content. And, you know, again, don't kill me in the comments because I said that the Dodge, this generation style truck is ugly, but... Um, <laughs> One thing I like about it is you have the great amenities versus the second gen Dodge. You know, the interior is a lot nicer. You get the nice bells and whistles. Um, as a matter of fact, as you can tell, you have more room in here. So your brother has an 06. Yes, but it's not the, the he, mega cab. He's got like the this. smaller cab. Yeah. But she doesn't have kids, so to him, what does it matter? Yeah. And he can go faster because it's lighter. He's got a really nice truck. He but, wants a mega cab though, doesn't he? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he was sending me, he was texting me pictures of a mega cab. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? Do you like this truck? Do you like it? No. No? You want to get you want to get a Duramax instead? Okay. Yeah. Wants a Duramax confirmed. Let's go <laughs> L5P. Let's get out of here. Oh no. <laughs> you want to drive it? Okay. All right, cool. Let's do this. Get her done. Wait, I don't even know where I'm going. Don't worry about it. Just drive down the street. Get a feel for it. I think that the seat's way too far back for you. Yeah, I think so, so too. So you're probably going to want to go ahead and move that forward. And like, this, this, I like that the steering wheel is not like way up here. It's like yeah, down, good point. more comfortable, like right here. 
you know usually your steering wheel is like way up here and you're like <laughs> when you're short like you know a truck master <laughs> hey eddie's uh <laughs> I, will, I actually want this truck now no, uh oh we're no. gonna get this one instead what do you think well it's definitely a lot easier to drive than my truck right now because <laughs> mine needs some work yeah well we're, we'll get into it if i purchase this truck guys i'm gonna overhaul it, it doesn't feel that big though when you're behind the wheel mm -hmm. Well, like you said, it's probably the way the dash is. It's a little yeah, more low profile. It, it does. It seems like. Make it right here. You can see everything clearly. Like your view is so clear. Right. It's slow though. It's yeah. really slow. <laughs> you have it all the way down? <laughs> it's really slow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We'd have to call up Earl to get, get it to tune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Earl, Earl doesn't, doesn't tune. tune. Earl right. does not tune. Make it right here at this red light. Well, it's a slow truck, but it'd be fun to see what kind of mods we can throw at it to make it a lot faster. I don't prefer the outside look of it, but it's nice to drive. This truck right here, I think, would be really awesome if we were pulling the camper because mm -hmm. it'd be nice and quiet in here. The kids have plenty of room. A lot room. of space. A lot of space. Yes. Uh, it's a coming, so it's going to be reliable. Of course, you know, I'm going to put my touches to the truck to make it, you know, um, go fast a little bit but luckily nothing has to fall off the truck, if you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> but I really like the truck, I mean. I like this. This is so nice to drive. I did, I'm actually really shocked. I didn't think it would be this nice to drive. Uh-oh, she's a believer. Wow. Does this look like my kind of truck or what? I think you like it. <laughs> I think you want it. I think do you want it more than I do. Do I look like I belong in here? <laughs> <laughs> we can make it work, right? I think we can. <laughs> I wish I was rich. <laughs> right, I know. All right, see you later, Cummins. <laughs> so We're going to yeah. think about it. Yeah, we got to think but, about that. But it's pretty funny when I dropped the keys off and he said that, uh, <laughs> I think it was a sales tactic. I Oh, somebody's looking at it. You want to jump and get it right now? You know, one of those things. Oh. But the difference between this truck and that truck uh, is like night and day. You get in that truck and it is just smooth. You feel like you're in a living room. It is so nice, you know. But you get in this truck. This, I'm comparing it to the Wife Max right now, guys. My my truck's a lot quieter and well, not whistly quieter, but my truck's a lot quieter. It's, I think my truck's smoother too. But um. This one right here, it's just a big rattly tank mess, but it's really fast. Oh, stop! That was a goose. Overall, I like my Duramax better than that Cummins. It's a big perk. I think you liked it more than I did. It was really comfortable to drive and to sit in. I really like that. It was yeah, and it was quiet. I like. I like. I kind of liked. I enjoyed the quiet. I actually did. Yeah, I did too. The so. smooth, the smooth ride. Hey guys, so now that we're home. We've been doing some talking and you know what? We're gonna go ahead and think about it. Look at a fourth gen, obviously. Well, I looked at the fourth gen and then we looked at the third gen. So I think it's only fair that we look at a second gen <laughs> before we make a decision. So we're set on a Cummins is what you're saying? Cause you're not, you're not saying anything about Chevys and Duramaxes and. You know how it works guys. When you're looking at vehicles, you're looking at vehicles. Uh, you, sometimes you don't sleep and you just keep staring at your stupid cell phone all night looking at vehicles. But if a LML pops out and I may like it, yeah, then it, I may just change my direction completely because I've never owned an LML and I think it'd be pretty cool. So, and not only that, I know these trucks like the back of my hand, um, but I don't with the Dodge. So I got a lot of thinking to do and I need your guys' help. Leave it in the comments below, you let me know. What should he look at next? Should it be a Cummins or should it be a Duramax? <laughs> and you Power Stroke guys are probably like, why don't you look at a Power oh, yeah. Stroke? <laughs> We're not ready to go down I'm not, that route yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I, one thing at a time guys, just bear with me. I hate Ford, okay? I'm not like bashing on Ford owners or anything like that. I, <laughs> I think they're good trucks too, okay? I just, uh, this is kind of what I'm looking at. Duramax or Cummins, um, did a video about it. Maybe I should do a Power Stroke versus Duramax video. I don't know. Maybe I should do something cool like that. But um, all right, guys, help me out. Leave it in the comments below. What should I go with? Uh, I'm not looking at a fifth gen Cummins. I won't do that. Or a newer 2020 Silverado or GMC. You're getting high up in the money there. That's, that, I can't <laughs> afford that stuff, okay? Um, 
I want my goal here is to build a truck on the channel, a frame off build, like taking the cab off, the bed off, powder coating, the works. I want to do something almost like the Victory Max in a way, but in my little dinky garage with no hoist <laughs> in the cold with a propane heater. You're going outside with me too, so. But all right, guys. Uh, anyways, we're done. Uh, we're gonna get in the house. She's shivering right now. It's below 30 degrees. I'm such a wimp. And <laughs> I belong in the southern states. Yeah, maybe we should move <laughs> then. Um, but hey, I do appreciate you guys as always. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You guys can't miss a video. We really do appreciate your support. Let's see where this takes us. Thank you so much for your time. Stay tuned. <laughs>